Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator, founder, and CEO of this show was the only person to break SpongeBob's win streak for Employee of the Month. There might be a new face on the wall this month. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Business rivalry camera flip. I'm not going anywhere. You're the one who's moving. You are moving. Oh, oh no, you are. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because the boy is here. And yes, today we are going to be having a rivalry in our first ever versus store edition. So if you guys are familiar, on this show we do a lot of thrifting hunts. We go out there and look for some of the stuff that we love to collect, whether it be Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney, anything animation themed or nostalgic. And we have a little competition to see who can find the best stuff. But today, we are not going to be doing that because I don't want to lose my, my win streak that quickly, okay? Oops. All right, right now we're 3-3 three, three in the show and I need a little break, okay? <laughs> but today, we're going to be putting other people against each other because we are going to be putting two of the biggest thrift store chains head to head, that being Goodwill and Savers. There's a good chance that you have one of these stores near you. Goodwill is known as Goodwill pretty much everywhere Savers, if you live in Canada, I think it's called Value Village. So you may have that location as well too. But these two stores are the most popular that you can find accessible in most areas. And we're gonna find out today which one is better based on the type of stuff that we can find. And I think even though we're looking for a very kind of a niche topic, being animation stuff, nostalgic stuff, I think that can kind of lead into every other category as well too. Because if we're finding stuff in the stuff that we like, likely whether you collect clothes, you collect board games, you collect DVDs specifically, if we're finding Finding stuff, that means that they start putting stuff out that is cool to get. So we are going to be checking both locations out head to head. You already know my preferred one of those is probably Savers because Goodwill is really rough, but I want to be proven wrong today. You know, I want them to show me what they're made of. So whatever store has the best return is going to be the winner of this episode. But without any further ado, we're going to hop in the car and head on over and start this version of Versus. Okay, so we are at our first location. We are at Savers. This is actually one of the places we used to go to all the time. Man, they always had great stuff here until they, they didn't have great stuff. <laughs> and then we stopped coming here as much. But we'll find out. Maybe today's a little bit different. You know, we're here in the morning with our first opening. We have, should we do an Ocean Man before each store for good luck or just one solid I one? I think one big, big one. All right, let's rev it up. Oh, <laughs> oh ocean man, ocean man. Take me by the hand. Ah, ah. <laughs> there we go, we got it. We're here at the old stomping grounds. You wanna know why I call it that? Because you're stomping? Yeah, I always stomp when I go here. That's why it's that, I've been doing that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're not gonna be lo looking too deep in every location, but we already got in here and we found this, this Pikachu like coin bank tin. And dude, I saw that Gotta Catch Em All era right there, so I yeah, knew it had to old, be. Huh? Well, they got rid of Gotta Catch Em All on the third generation because they realized there's no way these kids can catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, oh, there's a thousand of them. <laughs> yeah, stop selling them that dream. But this is 1996 or 1998 right here. So wow. we're gonna pick this up. I mean, it's got a couple little dents in it and stuff, but I mean, how often do you see old school Pokemon stuff? We'll try to figure if we can work that out. That's just sweet. We're picking that up. Okay, so we are in the toy section. This is usually where we find the most amount of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and look here first. I already see that alien. Oh, is that yeah. Squishmallow? I think it might be. If not, it's one of those like uh, cute things, whatever they're called. Cute. He's a Squishmallow. Yeah, he's a Squishmallow. Nice. And Eight dollars. Eight dollars is a lot, but that's also unbelievably painter's tape. <laughs> Unbelievably adorable. Oh, that's an instant cop for me, man. For, even for $8, that's amazing. Because what would this retail for typically? Like 30 Oh, those are like 25 bucks, yeah. Yeah, so that's a great find right there. He's got a little bit of dirt here, but that can be cleaned up easy. Okay, already a nice little start here. Okay, and then what else do we got here? What is this? This weird panda ball. <laughs> it's literally a ball inside of there. <laughs> we also got some plushies down here. We're just checking out through all of them. If you guys see anything we're missing, and let us know. The Tokidoki unicorn here with the tag still on it. I think that just might be a good pickup just in general for $4. We'll take a look though. Oh, dude. 
Pig pig. That's random. <laughs> this is the dirty kid from Charlie Brown. Oh, yeah, and there's Charlie right there. <laughs> oh, this is not Charlie. Oh, no, not Charlie. This is Linus. Is it Li Linus? Yeah, this yeah. is like Samson Linus. <laughs> <laughs> pig pin is one of my favorites, man. But $8. They want $8 for pig pin. Oh, uh, he is cute, but he's not $8 cute. Ooh. That's a, that's an instant pickup. We have Baby Bop right here for six dollars. Baby Bop is like one of the more hard characters to actually find. That's pretty cool. Anything for, and she's super clean. Baby Bop. Oh my goodness! For only six like six dollars is kind of a lot, but it means for what she is, that's actually a really nice find. Four items already at our first location. Oh my gosh. This is actually really cute too. It's, it's like a Snoopy's girlfriend or just a, something. A female dog. It doesn't have to be his girlfriend. You know, he chooses to be her own dog that's, you know, also the same breed as him. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh my gosh, he's bop. back. <laughs> Why is his, his neck broken? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in Superman mode. This is like Spider Man 3 Spider Man where he's just like full emo and he's just looking at the sky as it's raining. We're at an a raining effect. I feel that. I feel that, Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, first off, this is super cute. It's $3.99. It's Sylvester and a pumpkin. It's vintage, too, with <laughs> the a tag. Bob Builder there, too. Oh, yeah. Dude, Bob got freaking chainsaw massacre chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars, though. Unfortunately, Bob, we got a lot of stuff to look for today. But any other day, Bob, you would have been a pickup. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, dude, this Buzz Lightyear. Missing a wing. Missing a wing, and it's like he took a bath in cigarettes. <laughs> it's Seen better days. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is a we have that tobacco soap bar. This is not yeah, good quality at all. <laughs> all right, but I mean, Sylvester, I think for only three forty nine, that might be a pickup. That's a little Barney right there too. What the heck? Is that a Wubsy? Oh, you're right. What the heck? Why is this store all of a sudden like kind of freaking awesome? So this is a Wubsy where I think he's gonna play with the ball and he's gonna flip over. Is he naturally naked? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if he's missing pants, then we're gonna leave him. If this is just how he is, then we'll grab him. But I feel like that's kind of a weird, like why is he just rolling around with his ball in his underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Go a sealed SpongeBob Ooh, puzzle. That one's sick. Heck <laughs> yeah, the little go kart there. Through Mario Kart over that Nick Kart racing, bro. <laughs> Actually, Mario Kart's awesome. Probably a little bit better of the game. They don't got Nickelodeon characters, so I'm still gonna be Team Nick. <laughs> well, then you want this baby shark? No, you said. No, I mean, they do have two Dora puzzles as well, too, that I'm gonna go ahead and leave for now and maybe forever, but they're also cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a maybe pickup. I don't know what this is. This is a Scooby Doo like sounds, a Scooby sounds refrigerator and freezer. But I guess, does he make those sounds or is it just like, does this go in your refrigerator or freezer? I am not really sure. There's a little clip that goes on it too. Like some, there's just that so would much. be so cool if it goes like in the fridge and like lets you know like. Yeah, maybe it makes sounds when you open the door up. That would be sick. That's awesome, but I'm also just confused on if that's what it is. Why is there a part yeah, of- Yeah, I saw that. I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's had a very terrible skateboarding accident, but it's okay. I wonder the, where the skateboard's at now. The skateboard is long gone. He was on an episode. You, you see his skateboard disappear on an episode of uh, Scar with Papa Roach. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the thing is, is that that's no problem with SpongeBob. They'll grow back. You're good, man. You're good. All right, guys. So we also picked up some bags here. You might see some notable things going on there, but we are going to wait because you guys know the bags we save for a mystery. When we get back to the cavern, we could open them up and check it out. We're going to keep looking around. We might come back through here one more time, but I think we should check out the DVDs and the VHSs. Yeah. Here. All right, so I think in the VHSs, we're pretty clear. There's not really much here. They do have a Mary Kate and Ashley movie, though, which is not something you see every single day, but at the same time, you can see it's pretty cleared out. I think it might be a mixture of an influx of less people donating VHSs because they've already donated them, and then another mix of people that are, it's really popular right now. So it's like those two things collide and it creates a supply and demand issue, right? So I think you can see it's pretty thin in comparison to what we normally would have here. So we're gonna check this one out, but I think other than this one, uh, I mean, there's some pretty good movies down here. This is Janet Lolo. The Pocahontas 2, which I have not seen this one yet. We have Return of Jafar, which is not that good. <laughs> we have Johnny English, which if you've seen that movie, is a, a, a gem in itself. And I mean, other than that, I mean, there's Lion King 2. Lion King, King Cats and Dogs. Man, what a freaking throwback that is. Madeline, the live action movie. <laughs> Peter Pan as well in live action. 
Yeah, they have a lot. I mean, there's even a Jungle Book. Yeah, the Mowgli story. This is an actual live, the first live action before they made the remake. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna keep looking around here, the books, check out everything. But I think we could be. Yeah, I saw that too. This is a freaking alarm clock. I feel how light it is. It feels so not good quality. Is it because the batteries are gone? You think? It's only freaking. What even is it though? I don't even know. It might even be. It doesn't have batteries. You plug it in. Oh. It's probably an alarm clock if I were to bet. The the buttons kind of get stuck here. You see that? Ooh. Well, yeah, so is the middle one then. No, or maybe that's not a button. It is. It it's is a just, button. Yeah, weird. Uh, I'd say it's probably not in the best shape, but it's only $2.50, so I mean, not a bad pickup for somebody. I'm just not that somebody today. <laughs> <laughs> Nice find right there. <laughs> Hardcover book. The Rugrats Diapers Tales. Five bestest stories in one big book. So I imagine this is probably a compilation of a bunch of other Rugrats books that we've already probably got in the collection. Yes, I mean, it's a pretty cool look at him. <laughs> it's like a grand <laughs> wizard. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, I like that. We're grabbing this. You know, that's exactly how he felt at some point, too. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, what do we got? Let's see, here. I'm looking for the SpongeBob chapter books because I'm still looking to complete that Set. It's like my new Nick zone, but we don't really ever see the SpongeBob chapter books. Like, I feel like those are some of the hardest to find for whatever reason. Oh, here you go, little Edgar and Ellen. Oh, nice. High wire. I don't think we have this one, so I think this is new. We'll grab that Edgar and Ellen. Again, if you guys don't know that show, Ryan's gonna put a little clip here. I feel a song coming on. Thanks for the warning. Ahem. <clears throat> but you know, it's a more obscure one. It's these ones right here, these SpongeBob SquarePants chapter books. There has to be like, I think one of our awesome members of the Rep Pack, T-Dog, actually sent me like a list of all the uh, different um, ones in the series. I can't remember exactly how much, but I feel like there's like 30 or 40 of them. And somehow we only find this one. <laughs> there's always this one. So we have that one already, but I did see this and we do not have this in the collection. Ice Cream Dreams. And this is a tie-in with the movie. That's sick. Yeah, like we rarely ever find SpongeBob movie stuff. And this is actually tied in you can see why does squidward look so strange dude you should not be smiling that much you're really freaking me out and then <laughs> we get in there though and it's literally uh march 3rd which is actually wrong the seventh is the right day yeah, yeah as you guys learned from the trivia fact in the recent video here the day this crusty crab 2 was supposed to open was on march 7th but he put march they put march 3rd there i have no clue why to distinguish it from the movie and then it has him you know going through the whole process seeing goofy goober <laughs> right there and then the epic goofy goober if it wasn't tied in with the movie i probably would have left it since it's tied with the movie, I was like, okay, let's grab it. It's a dollar twenty-nine, which is a lot for a book that's pretty beat up, but I'm still gonna grab it. Okay, that was actually pretty incredible. I think what we should do now is we should go uh, to the Goodwill and see how this compares. Do you think the Goodwill is gonna beat this out? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I no. I really doubt that. But to be honest, this shocked me. I we don't usually find this much stuff here, but maybe you the know, Goodwill. Maybe yeah, good yeah. But maybe what we have learned about this store is we gotta give them we gotta give them some air. <laughs> True. Yeah. We gotta give them some air, let them breathe, let them get some new stuff in, and then come back and we might have some luck. But I have a feeling some of this stuff like this, this, like this stuff wouldn't have been here probably until tomorrow. So it must have just got stopped. We got lucky then, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's why that's why we did the Ocean Man. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, the double hand ocean man is what got us here. Okay, so that was actually, you know, pretty good little stomping ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to hop in the car. We're going to go to a Goodwill. What if we give Goodwill two store chances? Two. You're going to have to give them two store <laughs> chances, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get in the car and let's uh, head on over to the next store. Okay, so we just hopped in the car and we are going to be going to Goodwill. So I got to say is like I really prefer savers overall and I prefer it for one reason. So don't go getting all big headed savers okay i like that if you donate stuff you get a coupon you know yeah so we donated just a small little bag of stuff that was like you know uh, miscellaneous stuff from videos that we got at other thrift stores and dropped it off and you get a 20 percent off coupon that you can use at the stores and i like about the other store we go to when we donate is you donate it and they actually do put it right on the shelves like from what i can tell at the other store location we go to that's not of savers or a goodwill they actually do put it on the store which helps out the local community whether it be people like me filming videos of seeing what we can find 
whether it's resellers, are able to sell that and hopefully be able to uh, sustain their life here in California. But what I don't like about Goodwill, and which is why you don't see me go there a lot of the times, is I've actually been reached out to by a few different people that actually work at Goodwill. And a lot of them have told me, like, the reason you don't find anything at Goodwill is because everything that you donate, when you do drop off your donation at Goodwill, instead of them putting it on the shelves, they actually pay the money to ship all of this stuff. Not all of it. Sometimes they'll put like a little 10, 20% on the shelves, but it gets gone through very thoroughly. And then they ship it to a distribution center. So really none of it actually goes to your local community or back on the shelves like you would think. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to the Goodwill store and we can do this versus. And I, my money's on savers right now. Cause that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot of stuff. That was unbelievable. And we got 20% off. Let's go ahead and check it out though. Who knows? Maybe I'll be shocked. Maybe you'll be shocked. Maybe everyone will be shocked. Okay, so already getting in here, you guys can see it's, it's a lot less crowded in here. It's a lot smaller of a store. They do have just some. I mean, that girl lately is technically Nickelodeon. I did see this shadow backpack down here, which isn't terrible. Eh, it's actually kind of cool, but I don't necessarily know if I need it. What is the price on it, though? I don't even have a price. Hmm. $3.99. $6. What do you think? Just so there's something for Goodwill to compete with, maybe. Oh, man. Let's hold on to it. Yeah. Hold on to it. What if we don't find anything else? I think that's kind of cool, though. It's not really bad quality. It's not the worst condition, either, yeah. Yeah, a lot of times they have like, these weird, like, like fuzz balls kind of stuck around the room of his eye here, but it's actually holding up, so we'll take it. It is, because it's a lot smaller. There is more over here. They have a huge media section. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of DVDs. So maybe that's where our bucks could be. Yeah, I love to go too. They have all these little statues here too. Maybe we'll find some. It looks like mostly the Christmas stuff. And, I'm sorry, Christmas and Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. But look around. Hey, look this. this is actually really cute. Your, your piglet and also Pooh. But Piglet looks like he's lost his arms. Oh. So we're here to leave him. But it's Poor still Piglet. Cool. Yeah, it's still pretty cool though. All right, so Star Wars, some Mario figures, and nothing that we really need, but I mean, they're pretty cute. Only $2.99, but again, don't really need these. Let's go ahead and look down here. They have some plushies, which is surprising, because usually most of those don't even have any. Let's see, we have this big dinosaur, we have this dog, which I'm pretty sure we got this in one of the uh, one of the bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. From Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. It actually has the collar on it. We have Toad. <laughs> Poor Toad. Yeah, little Toad here. He's kind of cute. He's really dusty. I think, he's like, <laughs> I think this was in somebody's car. It's like sun bleached here, you know? Yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, we have Mickey Mouse. Oh, man, this is pretty rough, though. A little, Hello Kitty. Little angels. Hello Kitty. I mean, uh, it's not terrible. And FAA Shorts does not make it far. A very crunchy, tweedy. Who is this? Oh, wait, this is a... Uh, is that a, tr a spirit? Yes, this is from uh, Elementals. This is oh, the, Elementals, uh, okay. Yeah, this is the one of the wind elements here. I'll, I'll go grab this. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay, so we grabbed her. I think this is actually a pretty sweet find. We'll keep looking around, though, and maybe we'll find something else in the mix of this. But it looks like it's a lot of, like, Target donations, you know? Like, where Target actually just donates stuff to Goodwill. So most of yeah. it's that kind of stuff. Not a lot of, like, actual, you know donation style stuff. Oh, bullseye, like it's one of those racers, ones, right? One of the racing bullseyes, yeah, a variation of bullseye, but these aren't really that big of a find usually either. I know why you really pointed the camera here, Mitchell, because of this. <laughs> we have Bunny here, but I think this might be the actual Finkway one. This is the Finkway one, so this is pretty cool. The eyes are a little scraped up, but very, very cute. We'll go ahead and grab him for right now. And there's more plushies in here too. So yeah, the Finkway bunny, if you guys want to know for like Toy Story stuff, you always want to get Finkway. Like Finkway is the original company that's done it with the original Woody and Buzz. And this is the Finkway bunny, so we'll hold on to him. Okay, so so far we have these three here. I'm gonna check these two out to see if it's kind of worth the price we're gonna be paying for it. And then we also got the shadow too, but I think he's a guaranteed gonna come with us. I just think it's really adorable. But we're looking through the cups right now so we get lucky, but it's it's been pretty dry overall. Oh, dude, what the heck? Good mythical morning. <laughs> Somebody donated their good mythical morning mug. I literally had this mug, dude. That's so cool. That's crazy. Uh, it's really beat up and there's a crack down it. So that's probably why they did donate it. This is definitely going to leak. But this is a good mythical morning mug. Shout out to Red Link. I was going to say, that's crazy. My lifetime favorite YouTube channel. That is amazing. <laughs> Whoa, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> We have the peanut Snoopy here, but I don't see the price on him, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, $5.99. I do love him, but we're a little ways from winter still. <laughs> so, just a little. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him behind. But I'm going to do it one more time just because no, Mitchell likes no. it so much. 
I don't know. <laughs> is this what we're doing now? All right. We're going to pick this up, though. It's only $4, and it's a little Minecraft sign here. It actually plugs in. I think that's sick. You guys know, you know, OG Minecraft tuber. So, you know, I had to get this. This has got to be copyrighted. Maybe a little. It's Minecraft. It's a huge game. <laughs> okay, so this is a huge media section, so we have to be able to find some stuff here. Come on. I already see something interesting here being the Hannah Montana World Spotlight Game of the Wii. I'm not going to get that, but that's, 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 good. that's a good sign, you know, of what we could find. There's a lot to go through. All right, well, I thought we found one. We have the sixth season, but then 10 Happiest <laughs> Moments is in there and part of this tube of season six. Oh, wait a minute. There's another sixth season right there. <laughs> Maybe that one's got the rest of it. Take your bets. <laughs> Why is there two in season six? It's like, okay, this is where I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There's only... Oh, no, we're missing one. We're missing disc three. If that was disc three, then we could have had something there, but unfortunately, it's missing most of it. Okay, this is sick. We have the 4Kids Entertainment 4-pack. It's got Pokemon Heroes the movie, uh -huh. Pokemon Forever the movie, Whoa. Destiny Dioxys the movie. Damn, those are solid. Rushing. Those are heck? all good movies, and it's still brand new sealed. Heck yeah, I just watched Jirashi Wishmaker just a couple days ago, actually. That's I sick. And I've been wanting to watch forever, so that's awesome right there. Literally, it's a nice little collector set. Ooh, what the heck is this? Lost at sea. Why is it like that, bro? What is it? What happened to you? It's in there. It's a blockbuster one, too. Ah, oh, and the disc is not bad. It's just... The case. The case is way too far gone. Okay, so we just left that Goodwill. I, you can't see nothing. <laughs> so we just left that Goodwill. Uh, we got what, like three items. We ended up putting the bunny back because we did look it up. So we just want to make sure we weren't just picking up something that was just literally a dud. And yeah, that one would have been a not worth it for sure. It was like $5 without the ducky. It's Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4, if you guys watch a Toy Story video, isn't usually the more, you know, high-end items. So I left them behind. And we already have, a. I actually do have a bunny plushie already somewhere in the collection. So it was a little bit redundant. So I just decided to leave him. But I did pick up the shadow. I did pick up the uh, the wind from the Elementals movie, and we did pick up what was the last thing? Oh, the Pokemon Minecraft. movie. Minecraft. Oh, and the Minecraft items. So four items, four items, but none of them were as solid as the stuff that we got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, like the Minecraft sign was a personal choice. I thought it was kind of cool. I'll like it, you know, in my uh, in my bedroom or maybe by my Xbox. A little personal pickup. I'll give them credit for the cloud, and I'll also give them credit for the shadow backpack. But the Pokemon DVD, it was like rattling, and there was a bunch of stuff shaking in there too. So I hope the disc are okay. Okay, and I'll give them some points for that one too. But three compared to like that whole haul we just had, I don't know. Rough. I'm looking at the alien back there. He's like trying to see the results. Like, oh, come on, did they beat us? No, they didn't, alien. You're good. You're good, alien. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll maybe head one more goodwill to give them another chance, but uh, looking kind of rough. You guys let me know who you think is winning so far. It's nice to not be in competition with each other, especially because I'm losing recently. <laughs> that good old 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I also got to, I got to feel what a three easy victories Felt like okay so i can all come crumbling down very quickly yeah i, mean. I would know <laughs> <laughs> i just had it happen yeah. all right so let's head over to one more store and then we're heading back to the cavern we're gonna be really brief with the next store i'm pretty sure so here we go we have everything from savers right here two hefty bags well, these aren't the brand hefty but they're the paper bags but they're heavy, okay? <laughs> we have two bags here, and here is our haul from Goodwill. It's actually kind of a big bag, but that's because the items are big. There's only three three or four things in there. So what do we start with, savers or Goodwill? Yeah, either hefty, 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 or wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should start with savers. Save Goodwill for last, so that way it's the last thing you kind of get a taste of, and you can kind of, you know, maybe give them a little bit more of a chance. Because I think if we start with this, then go into that, it's gonna look rough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's gonna look rough either way, but let's just go ahead and start with savers since we started with that location first. Okay, so you know how this goes. We're going to start off with the bagged items first. So we actually got quite a few bags at the savers. So let's get all of these out and these will be our mystery items. And again, as we usually do here on our thrifting videos, we will look at the price that we paid, check it out online, or also just if it's something that I really, really like and it's worth it to me, we will label it as worth it or not worth it. And we'll have a worth it and not worth it counter, but I think we've been doing pretty good 
of getting mostly worth it, but we do want to keep track of how many not worth it we ended up picking up. <laughs> okay, so first off, honestly, I was going to check this out at the store to see what it even did before we bought it, but then I forgot about it. It ended up in the cart, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to just wing it, and hopefully <laughs> this ends up being awesome. But I got this minion here for Mitchell. Look at this. Makes like a little wow. fart sound. So yeah, that's for him. <laughs> and then we also got the Scooby-Doo here. Now this is sweet. I don't know what it even does, but it does have some batteries it looks like it takes. So let's try to find out. We'll open it up. And I'm also going to look online. And if we can't figure it out from that, then we'll have to look it up and see if we can figure out like what its job is. But I kind of hope it goes in the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and grab a screwdriver. We're going to throw some batteries in it. But already visually, it looks awesome. Like it's got Scooby with the little chef hat there. I'm getting gourmet ghost vibes a little bit. It. He's got a tray, I think. It's like a, a serving tray. I would love for Scooby-Doo to serve me food, man. That's some kind of Scooby-Doo uh, spooky haunted restaurant. But the problem is I don't think any of the food would make it to the table. No. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? That, that's the kind of fun I'm willing to pay for. But let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so is there any battery corrosion? A little bit. I thought these were Duracell, but they're power plus. Power plus? Oh, I thought it was a power fills. I was like, who the hell is power fill? <laughs> <laughs> they're really like the wet. You see that? Maybe it does go in your fridge then. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's like, that's not condensation. That's like oil ration of some kind. Like you should <laughs> not put this on your skin. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with this. We'll put it in here with the minion. I'm sorry, Mitchell. <laughs> when you're playing with it later, just, just just don't forget that, uh you know, there might be battery acid on it. So be careful. But other than that, I don't think the corrosion is like too far gone. This little plate right here comes out actually, which is really smart. I think more companies should make the plates removable like that because you could clean it. But I think if you just scrape it up a little bit there, it should be okay. And let's go ahead and throw the batteries in there. If we have to clean this off a little bit more, I can do that. But let's just see if we can get it working for now. Ooh, so you press refrigerator and he talks about the refrigerator. And if I press the freezer, you said the same thing you just said freezer or <laughs> refrigerator. So what is Scooby sounds? Scooby sounds, alright. Let's see. It almost seemed like it was like inertia based when I did it the first time, you know? Yeah. So maybe it just has to be really on a door, but he seems like he might make the sound when you open the door, and that was kind of what I was hoping. That is really cool though, so it's a little refrigerator buddy, I think, so we'll look into him, see what he kind of goes for, but already to me, that's going in my collection, and is an instant worth it. That is awesome, and what, I mean, we paid five fifty, so I can't really say it's worth it yet. I mean, we just got the Scooby and then a minion for Mitchell, but I guess gifts for your friends are always worth it. You think that's a gift? You know how many, you know how many times I've seen these? This is going to be just starting to become a burden, man. You can call your gifts whatever you want. Or your gifts. <laughs> right, a burden, a series of unfortunate events, whatever you want to call it. But I'm still calling it a gift. So I found out he is a timer, actually. That is super cool. So how he actually works is if you listen to him closely, you put refrigerator on. So he says eight minutes of Scooby snacking time. And then if you press the freezer, five minutes. That's super cool. So if you have like a five minute timer on for something, I don't know what you put in the freezer. Maybe it's like jello. I don't know what you put in the freezer to kind of cool something down. But even if you're like putting something in the air fryer, that's way cooler than the timer it's got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is, thank you so much, Scooby. So he makes little Scooby Doo quotes during the time that the timer is on. That's amazing. And then he and, just has general Scooby sounds. And general Scooby sounds. If you just want to hear him at any moment. You're like, yeah, you weren't coming quick enough with that Scooby sound. I needed to hear one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> So looking it up though, the most recent one that is sold, sold for $24.99. So yeah, that was with shipping. So we paid $5. I was gonna say if it only went for like seven bucks and maybe it wasn't worth it, but that's five times what it's worth. So already a good one for savers. We're at $24.99 in total value. And yeah, I mean, if you ever see one of these Scooby-Doo's out in the wild, definitely pick them up because you probably won't find them at a cheaper price if it's at a thrift store. <laughs> All right, so already a win there, a big win for Mitchell on the Minion. Nope. Let's check out our next bag. Okay, let's see here. So I got this for myself. This is a worth it for me because I love fingerboards. You guys know that. And if you were to get a fingerboard brand new, these things are usually about $5 anyway. So let's take a look here. $4.49. We have a Tony Hawk board there. And they're not really, uh, there's a little bit of like finger gunk on it, but I doubt it. Like most kids don't actually even play with them. They just kind of like 
pretend they're cars, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you have that, and then, oh, this one's, this one's really fresh. It's Tony Hawk as well, too, because up until recently, Tony Hawk was like the only licensed uh, brand they were working with. And you know what I'm gonna do, Mitchell? You know I gotta flex on him real quick. Over a freaking elephant, man. Ooh, you like that? I know you like that. Watch this front put impossible. Oh, oh, you seen it, you saw it, you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy fingerboarding and it's cool. So hopefully you think it's maybe not cool, but you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you were the people I shared these things with, you know, no, nobody, nobody really is going over my house saying, whoa, he's really good at fingerboarding. <laughs> Oh man, it's so satisfying. I'm gonna give it a worth it for me because I already think that this is, it's just sick. And I would probably buy these anyway and having more makes it to where they don't wear out as fast. So worth it for me. And they have some Hot Wheels in here too. If you guys, you know, I don't really know Hot Wheels, but I think this is what, an El Camino? It's just like a regular truck. That was a Datsun truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a Datsun truck. We have a little ATV there. Okay, Mitchell, your job is to name the cars. What kind of car is that? Boom, in the comments, let us know what kind of car that is. Is a Camaro or a Pontiac? I'm gonna go with a, a Stang. I'm pretty sure it's a Pontiac. All right, well, you guys in the comments will let us know what kind of car this is. If you're an expert, then you'll know. If you're not an expert, then hi, uh, it's nice to meet each other. We're both not experts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up is the elephant we used as a prop, but you know what? If Dumbo taught me anything, that's not okay. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this guy, Snuffleupagus, which was the most terrifying character ever when I was a kid. I would watch Sesame Street with anxiety because I was like, please don't bring Snuffleupagus on screen. Mr. Snuffleupagus and Mr. Noodle from time to time. Sometimes Mr. Noodle was cool, and sometimes Mr. Noodle was... That's it. Shout out to the guy who played Mr. Noodle, though. It's not his fault. I was a kid. You know, it's not my fault either. I couldn't control it. Don't you shame me. <laughs> but the Snuffleupagus, though, I got this one because he's usually a pretty sought-after toy, and I do think this one's really cute. It's like, how often do you find something with a tag on it from 1997? So we'll take a look here. They have collect them all Sesame Street beans. And look at all the different characters they have there. That's at least 10. <laughs> <laughs> or more. How do they not have freaking the Count, the Count Chocula, or Count, Count Chocula? That's a different uh, a vampire for kids. <laughs> I think it is just the count. Yeah. <laughs> they have the count. They don't have the count, but they have Betty Lou. Who the hell is Betty Lou? More like Betty Loser. I want the count. Shout out to Betty Lou. I'm so sorry. That was really, really necessary. But yeah, where's the count? All right, I paid three forty nine for this, and he went together with Cookie Monster for like 10 so i'm gonna say probably a draw you know like it's kind of worth it but also not kind of worth it i think he's really adorable though so we'll just the draw is that fair enough that's fair enough uh, thank you <laughs> <laughs> a draw on screen yeah, we haven't lost it yet look for that affirmation <laughs> look at the aardvark all right so next up here we got this one i couldn't leave it behind because it had something spongebob related so we have this bag it was 349 as well and we did have a 20 percent off coupon that we use but you know we're not going to count that so this has gary and i think yes so this is a burger king toy and he revs up and his you know his uh his eye sockets hit against his uh shell to kind of make that uh jellyfish jam beat you know <laughs> so very very cute and i don't think we have this gary on display but i do have it i don't really like what his butt's doing back there though i'm gonna be honest Kind of like sucking in and then kind of sucking back out. So when that sucks out, his eyes, his eyes go forward, which I can understand. It's me pulling on my butt like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I don't know, like the way that the shell is makes me feel like it was supposed to make like a sound of some kind. Yeah, it has the holes for it. Yeah, like it's supposed to be some kind of like like percussion instrument of some kind. But um, I don't think it's very valuable for sure. I just thought it was really cool. <laughs> so I grabbed it. And then we also have this fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know what that's from. I know, I just had the memory of it unlocked. I completely forgot these existed. And this was one of my favorite things as a kid, the magnetic fishing rods. So it has a little fish right here with a little magnet on the front and you drop in your fishing rod that also has a magnet and it connects to it and you're able to pull it out of the water. Dude, that was such a good toy. I, I didn't even know those things existed anymore. <laughs> I mean, who knows how old this is? It's made in China, so it could be like from last year or from like the 1700s. <laughs> who knows? Probably not though. We have this big gulp fish, which maybe it's from the, no. He looks way newer than this one. This one looks kind of old school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with him. And then we also have a My Little Pony of, I think this is Rainbow Dash, who her wings kind of flutter as she's going through. And then I don't know what this is. Some kind of 
shark cover. <laughs> Why does it have this like orifice? There's a light in there. Oh my gosh, the light actually works too, but what is it for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this is probably the best item here. Is this, is this <laughs> weird light thing? I don't know. I'm gonna say this bag probably not, <laughs> not worth, worth it. it. <laughs> not worth it. I, I like the Gary though, but I think I already have it. I just didn't want to leave it behind. I wanted to say we got something spongy today, so we got it. But you know, we got some sponge. Whether it was worth it or not. So next up we have right here is from Luca, and that is a Pixar film. This is the guy with the Vespa that like uh, makes Luca and Alberto very envious. My favorite scene with this guy is one of his friends like just gives his life. Like look at this slow motion dive. Oh, oh mamma mia, talk to Hercule. Are you hurt? Well, my head kind of Knock you, cheat y'all out of the way. And he's not even worried about him. He's like, move out the way. <laughs> <laughs> there better not be a single scratch on Senior Vespa. So <laughs> this guy is really cool. I don't even know what this figure came from, but I just grabbed it because it was only $3.49. And it came from Euro Disney. Huh. But it's a really nice little figure here. Again, don't know if this is gonna be worth it or not worth it, but I think the design is really cool and that character is just kind of ironically hilarious. So the last one for him sold for 16, but there are other ones listed that are available for like, you know, $12. So I think at least 10 bucks for this guy isn't unfair or impossible. And I just think it's a solid one. So we're gonna go ahead and give that one a worth it. Is that fair? Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. I'll give you a worth it. All right. <laughs> I asked Mitchell, so that way I could double verification. I'm like, you know, maybe I'm a little crazy, but I think it's worth it for $3.49. He's a little over double what he's, what he's paid for. I think, yeah, if it's over double, that's kind of, you know, kind of worth it. But you have to include shipping and stuff like that too. And that was not including the shipping that somebody paid $5 as well too. So it was well worth it. Next up here, we have for $4, and 49 cents I grabbed these transformers and you know you just don't really see transformers like this with like all their pieces half the time when we see transformers they're really beat up a lot of you guys in the channel love like Power Rangers transformers have talked about me picking some of it up before so I wanted to get some here so that way we can feature them for you guys a little bit I think this is Skywarp and then this one I think is Hound so these ones are really cool I've never like my problem with transformers is is like same thing with puzzles and a lot of other things that involve building I never was able to figure out how to get them back into it, their car form. It was always just like, oh, okay, now they're they're the transformer. Now how do I get them back into that car form? <laughs> I don't know, but he's really cool. So we wanted to pick these up, and I feel like for freaking five dollars, that was definitely going to be worth it. So we'll see if we can get one of these guys close, at least one of them, and then uh, we'll update you guys. All right, so Mitchell got his pretty much here together. His was really hard. I got my jet together. He was pretty easy for the most part. So we have both of them here, and I can't lie, man. I kind of can see why people collect these and they're a lot of fun. This was super satisfying once you get together and it locked in so well, like the quality is so nice on them that like this feels like its own toy. Like, you know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall back into its transformer form. Like it feels like a little, you know, those sound effects you make in your kid. <laughs> but we have the vehicle right here for Hound. He's got this big old machine gun on the top here, which is sick. And mine should have had two machine guns that went onto the side here, but it unfortunately is missing those. But I don't know how these little wings could hold up two machine guns and this big ship and still be able to fly, but somehow it's capable of it. And then to transform it back, that's the heart. Let's just forget that. That's the hard part. <laughs> Let's see, I think I can do it. There we go. Ryan put the Transformers intro real quick. Transformers. You know, it's a little bit fast. You can't do it as fast as that sound bite goes. So we're uh, working on it. Oh, look at this. He's, oh! Ah, oh, his chest just came out. Where'd his head go? Okay, here's his head right here. There it is. Come on, that's sick. That's sick. That was dope, actually. <laughs> and then he put his toes back down. That was actually so freaking sweet. You know what, man? If we find any <laughs> more Transformers in the wild, I might get some of them. I that was. Were, I think there was a bumblebee in the other bag. Yeah, there is. It's this little bumblebee car right here. You're right. Looks like he's missing a part of his body, though. He's missing his arm. Oh, uh, you know, it's okay. He doesn't need it. This is sick, dude. Like, what the heck? That's actually so awesome. I'm I'm a fan of Transformers now. Actually, this is uh, this is remarkably satisfying. It's a puzzle that you can kind of I can kind of do, and then not on top of that, like it's really like cool that you can display them in different forms. You know, it's almost like you get two in one. You can have one on display in its built form, and then one on display in its like exposed form, or you can just have one and just do both. All right. So already though, these are worth it too. So this guy actually goes for even more than him. He goes for about twenty to twenty-five dollars, being that he is actually complete. He's not missing any pieces. 
pieces from what I could tell. That's crazy. <laughs> Why did you put him in this position? What are you talking about? That is, that should have died a long time ago. It okay? was on his look. own. He did that on his own. You didn't, you look didn't at see him. him. You killed him. You killed him. You killed him. You killed a person. Or a machine. I don't know what he is. He's an alien. I don't I, You killed something. <laughs> I know that. All right? But anyway, we got 40 15, bucks right there. And then a freaking another $20. Yeah, another $20. So $35 of value from $3. We literally times 10 the price of $350. That is a freaking worth it, man. All right, keeping it robot centric. I also grabbed this, which is a Gundam. And let's be honest, I don't know. You guys in the comments, what is sicker, Gundam? Or Transformers. I think, I don't know, Transformers are sick because they're just their own individuals, but Gundams are sick because you get to be like in these mech suits, like people are controlling them. That has always been really awesome to me. And there is this giant, oh my gosh. I mean, he's now, got, is he got an artillery rifle or a sword? <laughs> His weapon is like the Whoa. Eiffel Tower. It's like, you know you're awesome when your weapon is like a freaking structure for World's Fairs. That, <laughs> that is amazing. So here's all of his pieces, and I did pay up for him. He was $7.50, which I kind of regret paying, but maybe I won't regret it, or maybe I will even more. We'll find out. There's even a mini Gundam. A mini. You got the Magnum Gundam, and then the regular size Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Transformers. That's not what we are. <laughs> All right, so the Gundam, I have no clue. It has so many parts to him. That looks amazing, dude. That looks so freaking sick. You guys let me know what you guys think. Transformers or Gundam? Like, that looks dope, but I mean, come on, man. I think just the suit is a little sicker, honestly. Yeah, yeah. This thing looks like it could help Shia LaBeouf save the world. This thing looks like it could take on freaking Kaiju. Uh, this is amazing. Especially with like the gun that he has right here. And the, dude, this sword? You can't beat that. <laughs> you have a gun and a sword? You're like the coolest person ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just checked him out and dude, he has a lightsaber. How much cooler can it get? He has a lightsaber. If he has a cat, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> you can't get any cooler. All right, so. It turns out though, he's not that valuable. I, I think some Transformers can be more collectible and there are some of them, this particular guy, that are like $200. But this one's, I think, a more low end one. So he goes for about 20 bucks new. So used, like maybe 10 missing pieces too. So like probably like 10, maybe less. But you're probably thinking, oh, easy, not worth it. Marcus lost this one, but you would be wrong. I mean, even at 20 or 10 bucks, I mean, it was seven, I guess. <laughs> yeah, these guys right here, though, these little guys, uh, turns out these actually are Transformers. Yeah, they are Transformers. They, I kept saying they weren't that, but they are. And they go for <laughs> $20 together. 20 bucks for these little dudes. They're worth more than this big guy. <laughs> what even are these? <laughs> They're mini Transformers. Can't you tell? Mini. Okay. <laughs> Man, win, win, win. So I'm glad they threw those guys in there. <laughs> All right. Worth it. And we're out of bags. We're out of bags for real. Dang, we're out of bags. For real. All right. So now we're getting out of the bag. Let's check out the items we picked up. So first off, we got this Pikachu tin here, which is really freaking sick. I don't know if we'll be able to get those dents out. Let's see if it's clean on the inside too. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty solid, but it's, I mean, it's from 1997. I could try to push out some of them. That didn't come out. I mean, there's a sticker I couldn't tell. Let's see, there's a dent right here. What about this one? Is that coming out? Hmm. No. No. <laughs> what about this one? You can see this dent. Yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, so I think, honestly, we might be able to push out a lot of these dents. Well, I can get to the inside of my car and do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's got Pikachu there on the side. Of course, we got to take that sticker off, but I paid $3 for this one. I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not, but to me, this is worth it. You guys saw it from the Toy Story video. Most of my piggy banks are pretty full, so, you know, <laughs> I could actually use it. You a Pokemon one now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except for the unfortunate part, no matter how much this gets full, they probably couldn't buy any of the products. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's keep it moving here. All these prices, will, everything, the values will be coming up on screen, and we'll uh, say worth it or not worth it. We'll get to the next one. I mean, I don't know. Man said ultra rare in his title. Can't be that rare. Six bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, worth it for me, but probably overall, like, not really. So let's go with the draw. Man, we're having a lot of draws today. I'm a little disappointed in us, but... I picked this. I guess I'm disappointed in you anyway, but... Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you could have stopped me. You could have stopped me. I would have picked that up myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop. You know what? I need a Scooby assistance. Need a little Scooby hit? Thank you. Feel a little better now? Yeah. Okay, let me get some of that. 
Yes. Absolutely. Hungry for this Don't dub. you speak for my Scooby moment? No, you're hungry for this W. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry for W's. And I'm hungry for Wubby U's. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Wubsy, and this is one of the items I was the most curious about because a lot of the Wubsy products can go for really high prices, and we don't have much Wubsy in the collection, so this will be staying here. It is a Nickelodeon property being Nick Jr., but let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this guy working. Oh, I heard some spark of sound. Okay, give me a second, Wubsy. <laughs> Let's turn you off. Whoa, he's going! The man is going! I need to get you a, give me a second, bro. So let's turn him on here. Watch. Whoa! What the heck? Go again. Do that again, that was sick. Let's play kick and kickball. Oh Whoa. my gosh! <laughs> that is so freaking sweet! That also explains how he's so dirty in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you look at his toes, his toes are pretty dirty. <laughs> that is so cool, this is awesome! <laughs> that freaking made the whole trip. Whoa, there he Dang. goes! <laughs> Yo, you knocked over all the W's, Wubsy! Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, last one, Mitchell's coming at you. Whoa! That's Whoa! Wubsy. He's flying! So do you kick the ball, maybe? I don't know. I think you're supposed to kick it. I think he comes at you, and then you're supposed to kick it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just feel like as a child, that would hurt. <laughs> I can't find like any form of this that was ever sold or is being sold on eBay. So, I mean, I think it's rare enough to where I call it worth it. Yeah, I mean, how often would you see that, right? Yeah, I think it's really cool too. I think from what I saw, I did find an open, a packaged one. He should have a remote, so that makes a lot of sense. You can only go back and forward. So when you go forward and then you a jar backward, Wubsy flips on his head and then he goes backwards. <laughs> so really a demented toy, but you can see that there's dirt on his ears and a lot of dirt on his feet. So it makes a lot of sense now. That he's dirty, no specific spots, but this is really just an interesting item. So we're gonna go with the worth it, and that was fun too, so fun worth it. <laughs> All right, the next up here we have Baby Bop, and I paid $6 for her, but man, she is clean. Like, this one looks like it was never played with, mostly collected, there's no crazy dirt. When plushies have this kind of hair, it really helps you know, like, what kind of uh, child was playing with it. And the fact that the hair is in this great a shape shows me that they were not playing with it at all. Maybe somebody bought this new, collected it for a while, and then they ended up donating it or whatever have you to where it ended up in a savers. But the condition is amazing, there's not a lot of scratch on her eyes which is another big indicator of you know how much it was played with and being that it's a pastel pink pajamas this would be easily made dirty so it's honestly incredible the quality here she's got like beans in the hands beans in the tail to kind of keep her solid so she can sit like that that's really cute that's sick I like it she doesn't talk or anything like that but I think it's gonna be well worth the six dollars for sure and I think for Wubsy, we should just give him like, I don't know, let's just do $10 value to make it worth it compared to the price we paid. But I think it realistically could go for way more than that. But I just think, you know, just so we have a, a price for him, let's do 10. All right, Baby Bob, she goes for $6 here, $5.99. And you guys can see she sold recently for $30 with $15 shipping, where I can guarantee you this would not be $15 a ship, maybe at the most like six or seven dollars. So an incredible value right there. And yeah, great condition too. So easy pickup, easy worth it on the screen. And that's added to our value. I mean, this is gonna be hard to beat for Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, no this, kidding. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> Just by sheer quantity. Yeah. All right, next up here we have some books. Let's get these out real quick. And books, I mean, the values on the books are kind of here and there, but we're not really gonna base it off of that. These are added to my collection here in the cavern, so they're automatic worth it. But we'll give them just a, a ballpark value just based off of what they, you know, what they are. So we have the Edgar and Ellen book right here, High Wire. We'll have to check that out over there in the books, but I'm pretty sure we do not have this book, High Wire. And then we also have Diaper Tales. Best stories all in one book. Got a little Diaper Tales right there. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'll have to clean these. I have to clean a lot of stuff before we put it in the collection. But I'm definitely going to have to do that. You guys can see the illustrations are beautiful. Look at that beauty. Nah. <laughs> oh, yes. This is from the uh, episode where they actually fall into the closet and come out as, uh, a, as like, not adults. I wasn't say adults, but like teenagers. Teenagers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adolescents. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. So that book is getting a freaking 10 out of 10 for me and a worth it. And then this book right here, Ice Cream 
Extreme Dreams. I don't know if we have this one. We could, but again, this is based off the movie, so that's getting to worth it. With the and, incorrect dates. So. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't know. We paid $1.29 for this one. I'm gonna give it a value of three bucks. We have this one right here, the High Wire. Uh, the Edgar and Allen books are really hard to find, so I'm gonna say five. And then this book right here, it's three dollars let's just go ahead and just do six dollars we'll just double them up so that way they kind of you know make sense a little bit but at the same time the, the value is uh, priceless to me because these are ones that if i don't have them in the collection they come in clutch to be able to add to the collection for a way cheaper price than i can get anywhere else all right then we have the adorable sylvester here he's got his tag still on him it's by ace distribution and he's got a little pumpkin hat on top too so you can see there's actually like a lighter colored plush on the inside here to show that he is inside of the jack-o-lantern before it's being like you know cut into and this one is 349 he better get out of that jack-o-lantern before they start cutting yeah. <laughs> but this is from the year 1997 so I mean this is a throwback for sure definitely a really cool like Halloween decoration and I don't necessarily know if we overpaid or underpaid for it but we'll find out I just think it's really adorable and a really cool piece to add to any collection of course and I can't find a value on him necessarily because there's none that are up right now that were sold but I mean of course we look for some items you know to try to kind of find our overall value back but on some items I just grab them because I like them and I think they're really cute and I think they could definitely be appreciated so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a basic price of like something I think it could go for in our whatnot streams of like eight to ten dollars let's just go with eight dollars I think that's a very very fair price for him and I think he is so so cute all right so now we've got only a few things left here I'm saving one of the big ones for last we have the Spongebob puzzle here this is again worth it automatically because I don't have this in the collection it's in good enough condition to keep it in the collection for the archive I think it's sweet he's got a little motor car right there too just a sweet one I'd love to show you the puzzle built or something but it's sealed and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it that way <laughs> there it is it's done there, <laughs> there it is just imagine that but just bigger here look at this now's here yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> and similar uh puzzles of this exact same like year and everything go for about 10 to 12 dollars with shipping on top of that so i think at least 10 dollars for this one which i think is kind of i wasn't expecting to be honest but about 10 bucks yeah, i guess I mean, that's, that's older that's pretty good I think it's because it's older, and if you want the specific design, it's not like you can just, they're, they're super accessible anymore. So, yeah, $10 for that is not bad at all. W. Big W. West side. <laughs> Stands for W. Okay, nothing else. Okay, so this one, to be honest, I meant to put this back. I grabbed this when we were kind of like into the start of it. And I was like, okay, who knows how rough this is going to be. So I grabbed it, I put it in the car, and then again, I forgot about it. And I think I should have just forgotten about it because they, the last one sold for like five bucks. Uh, it was used. This one has a tag on it, which is still used, but I mean, not very used where the tag's still on it. But I'm going to go ahead and say not worth it. So I don't even know how many not worth we've got. If this is our first one or second one, but uh, not worth it. Okay, and last but not least, we have the Toy Story giant freaking Squishmallow plushie. And yes, he has a little bit of dust right here, so he definitely needs to be washed, but I will probably just be keeping this for my actual personal bedroom. I think he's so cute. I love that Woody one we got, you know? It's really <laughs> nice, but his hat is really irritating on the skin, you know? So I, I use these pillows in my bed, like genuinely use them, and Woody's hat is a little bit irritating because it's made out of like a, a thicker, like more more like burlapy material and it's not really the most comfortable only thing you got to deal with with this guy is this and it's actually pretty soft so i think this is going to be changing woody out woody will just be on display on my bed and i'll probably still use him for like you know watching movies and stuff like that but this guy is definitely a way softer plushie and definitely higher quality being from Squishmallow. Very cute too. And I don't know what it's gonna go for, but nonetheless, I, we have to drop it a little bit because it does have the tag, but nonetheless, in order to clean this, I'm gonna have to take that off and I have to clean this, being that I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna wash it very thoroughly. So, but let's take a look anyway. Hey, even in used condition, he goes for $30. So us paying $8, I did pay up a little bit in terms of prices for, you know, the freaking thrift store. But overall, I mean, that's literally a third of the price so a big win here on the alien and that adds another thirty dollars to our grand total and me and mitchell haven't been calculating this throughout the entire thing so we don't know what the price is that savers has currently but i can assume it's going to be higher than goodwills we'll find out though <laughs> so here's what we paid and here's what we got our total value that you know that should not 
make drive any fear into thrift stores like oh maybe we should raise our prices no you shouldn't you know people are going there to hopefully be able to find some things that are cheaper than the places like if i wanted to pay 30 dollars even close to it i would just hunt around for it on ebay forever you know or look for it on mercari other websites like that but if i want to get you know you don't get guaranteed anything when you go to the thrift store so you if you find something that you maybe weren't even wanting when you went in there you want to be able to get it for a deal so i think that's a very fair thrift store price being at eight dollars i don't think anything higher than that would have been appropriate and it makes it fun and it makes us want to go back right like goodwill makes it really hard on you to where you don't really find anything good and you know what where we don't go often goodwill goodwill yeah so we go to savers all the time because it's actually fun and all the inventory is donated so making the process fun is what kind of keeps the store going so i, I really like the savers you know made it at least you know doable there and he is going back in the bag kind of rolled out of the bag but next let's get to goodwill all right we have the goodwill bag let's do it that was that was a little quiet compared to the last one <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's no bags either it's just the big bag itself so i'm gonna go with this first because i did find this uh this pokemon collector set here but there's some sounds. <laughs> it sounds like there's like chips or something there. What the there's heck? some rattling. So now I'm worried that the discs are messed up. So let's find out. If they've somehow snapped the disc, uh, I would be impressed. Yeah, this is $2.99 though. So, I mean, we'll find out a value overall. But oh, I, I, just... see, I see what it is. It's right here. Oh my gosh. Bottom is just... Somebody, something ate out its bottom. What the heck happened there? You could have used another sentence for that, but all right. Well, I don't know what, like some kind of chainsaw was eating at its bottom. Like what the heck happened there? And then the top, let's go ahead and pop it open here. Is it one disc? Wow, that's a thick disc. Things like a hockey puck. There's your culprits. Okay, that makes more sense. Get out of there, little shrapnel. That's my new rapper name, shrapnel. Shrapnel. Small, but I still do damage. Hit these bars. I'm actually at the small. Pretty big guy. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Pokemon collector set. Yeah, that's... Four movies. That's sick. Uh, I just watched Jirashi Wishmaker. I wish I wouldn't have because I could watch them in a row. But I can't wait to watch Destiny Dioxys. That's a good movie. I'm pretty sure that's where Rayquaza and Dioxys fight in the city. Play yeah, he comes clip. down from space. Yeah. Let's play a clip. <laughs> That's even cooler than the Gundam. That, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's as cool as cool gets. All right, so that is something I'm gonna be watching. I don't know what this this uh disc goes for, but we paid three dollars for it. It's worth it to me already. All right, so best day of the week, it would have been ten bucks, but it did that. So it didn't have a blown out bottom like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say like we'll give it the ten. We'll give it the ten because <laughs> I think it's gonna lose either way. But I, I it was well worth it to me because I just want to watch this. So I'm still gonna give it a worth it on screen. All right, next up here we have this Minecraft. Minecraft light. Now this is freaking cool. You guys know, like I said, Minecraft is a huge part of my life. I would even go to say that, you know, I wouldn't even be where I am today if it wasn't for this game. So I'm really happy to pick this up and represent a little Minecraft uh, in my household. But let's go ahead and uh, pop this open. I paid $4 for it. Let's see this thing lit up. Oh, that looks sick. That's awesome. It's a little dim. I'm not going to lie. It's a little dim. Oh, it's getting brighter. Oh, what it was. So it kind of pulsates. So it gets brighter, then gets lower, gets brighter, then looks, but like, you know, a nice little uh, movie night or have this above your Xbox, you know, on your TV. That, that's pretty cool. I like it. I, this might even go in our background setup in my living room that we use for ADHD's world too. Just cause you know, Minecraft is a, a big part of my entire YouTube history. So I definitely feel, you know, like it's deserving to being honored. I love Minecraft and always will. So this one goes for about eight bucks. Not probably, I would say draw. It was like barely double. Let's say draw on this one and over Overall value added eight dollars but i still think it's sick so worth it to me worth it to me <laughs> draw overall i yeah. didn't mean for that to rhyme but we're gonna go with that all right the next up here we got was gal and that's for gal force wins i'm pretty sure and that's because she's a big fan of the windbreakers but she also represents the wind elements because she's from the movie elementals and some of the other characters like wade and also ember they actually go for quite a bit because i think this movie wasn't you know i i personally really loved the movie i thought i loved ember's relationship with her father well i didn't love it at the beginning but i loved it at the end i really enjoyed wade's character he was cute he's also super funny so i liked the movie her character is really intense but also super kind overall so I, I wanted to pick it up and she goes for about $30 brand new so we couldn't find one without the tags so I'm gonna go ahead and say at least $15 let's go with $14.99 15 bucks for gal here 
All right, and then finally here we have the Shadow Backpack. Now this backpack is super, hey, what a perfect day. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you got the Shadow most, Shoes on over there? No. <laughs> unfortunately, no. I mean, it may not be the most comfortable backpack because the spikes, <laughs> the spikes literally are just resting on your back. But other than that, it's really cool. And if you guys don't know how these plushy backpacks work, they have a little pocket inside of there. You can't really hold too much. It goes pretty much as deep as the plushie can go. And I think this one actually has a hole in the inside too. No. Of course, of course. So if you put your stuff inside of this one, that's not good because it's going to possibly fall deep inside of the plushie, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of a big rip. I'm gonna go with a not worth it already on the fact that there's a hole inside of the plushie's head. We don't even need to look at the price, he's damaged. Not worth it. Damn, Shadow, I mean, he's still very cute. But I was like thinking about actually using them for the backpack purposes. But now that I know that if I put my change in there, it'll end up in his ankles. I don't really know if I want to do that anymore. You know, start getting weighty. <laughs> yeah, but he's still very cool. Unfortunate circumstance though. And that is it for Goodwill. So that was everything we found. That was not a lot, but at the same time, you know, I know a lot of you guys say out in your areas that they're sort of really bad and you don't find anything. So this may be more than what you find at your location. So I'm not trying to be ungrateful, but in this series of verses, we're comparing it to Savers. And yeah, Savers definitely won this one in my opinion. But I'm not gonna put my opinion in here. You guys let me know. Who do you think won this episode of Store Versus? Goodwill or Savers? This is round one. Maybe another time we'll go round two, Savers versus Goodwill. But you guys let us know who took the cake on this one. I know I have my opinion, but you can let me know comments down below and again we appreciate any comment that comes through hit the like button would greatly appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to support the show further you can check us out on patreon where you'll get an extended version of this video and every other video that we upload along with seven eight months of bonus content that's already cataloged on the patreon if you go check it out and every video is 100 ad free as well and you even get early releases in some cases so go check it out all the tiers are down below would greatly appreciate it. it's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons. Stay tuned here. We're going to go ahead and add a couple guys here into the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it! So here we have the alien. This guy is going to go into the washer machine for right now. <laughs> and then this guy right here, he will be going probably, I'm going to try to figure out the best way to wash him too, but I'm going to probably put him in the toy box here in the cavern. This will be have a little bit of wubsy, but he definitely needs to be cleaned up. So I'll definitely be doing that before we do that. All right, but for the books, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see which ones we got, see which ones we don't got. And the puzzle, this will be going in the vault. Don't have any plans to make this puzzle, but I am glad to have it in the collection. So this will be vaulted. Let's check Check it out there with these items. All right, so we only had one book from this particular line, and that is SpongeBob, Hands oh Off, where he gets an action figure. So that one is gonna stay right oh, there. So that's number one. Yep. And that one's number eight. And we got a lot, a lot more to appreciate. So there we go, SpongeBob's Ice Cream Dreams, a brand spanking new one. Let's add that in right there, number one through new eight. America. There we go, boom. Now for the diaper tails. Let's see where we got space. We got space here. We don't got a lot of space here. So I guess it's gonna go in here though. This is about where it lands in size. But we're gonna have to probably move some of these chapter books over to these books. All right, but let's go ahead and add in the diaper tails. I keep wanting to put the book like this, but <laughs> there we go, the <laughs> diaper tails. That is a big thick one. So let's see here. It looks like it fits right here. You know what? Let's put the avatar book over here because they have a lot of the other avatar books together anyway. It fit perfectly with that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and drop this guy in. That's actually a duplicate too. This is? No, the one you just threw over here. Oh, the app. Yeah, there's probably a lot of duplicates in here. I tried my best to remember, but some of them, you know, the, just, if he would have been with them, I probably wouldn't have forgot. So there we go. Dang, he does not fit in there. Yeah, we got to push the books forward a little bit because this one's so long and tan and handsome. And the lady's got him on a ransom. <laughs> How much they want? <laughs> more than any of them could afford. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So the, that's a nice little freaking piece there, man. I like that one. Well, he's the standout of the group. Heck yeah. Oh wait, we almost forgot one, Mitchell. I didn't. Okay, well I almost forgot one. We have the high wire. That's why I put it over here. I'm coming for you, Wubsy. I told you this last time when you were on this shelf and before when you are on this shelf, we are coming for you. We didn't put three in a whole other shelf here for no reason. Is because we are about to obliterate you. One day you are going to be squashed into oblivion. I don't think he deserved all that. 
So we have a good size, it's a good amount of Edgar and Ellen books here, but we do not have high wire as you can see there. So let's go ahead and put this in. Let's go ahead and put split ends in its own little section because it seems like this is kind of like its own color scheme. So this is black, so we're gonna put this together. Oh, Wubsy, looking a little bit frail, my man. So let's go ahead and put that in there, Edgar and Ellen. Ah, oh, I want more of these Edgar and Ellen books. Let's see what we got here, Wubsy. Can you stand it any longer? He's backwards. I don't want to see your butt, Wubsy. Oh. oh, he's barely, he's hurting right now. His arms are about to buckle in. <laughs> he's, he's doing it for now, though. And Winslow, you keep him company. No one's coming for you, because you're cool. So right here, I got a couple of my boards. Um, this is probably my favorite one. As you can tell, it's very scraped up there. It's very worn down grip tape. This is my least favorite one. And this is one that I lost for several months. But these two are brand new. So we're gonna add these in. These are Hot Wheel too, just like this one. Tony Hawk Signature Series, more akin to this one. So this is new, adding these guys to the setup here. Makes them not wear out so fast when you got a few of them to mess with. Okay, and Chef Scooby is going right here next to the just head of Scooby. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but yeah, the head of Scooby on our Scooby Dooby Doo shelf of beauty and glory and horror. This will be going right here because we have so much space now. <laughs> this is kind of scary. I'm mean, going to be doing the Disney shelf. We'll probably move this guy around, but for right now, that's where it's going to be going. And this. This will be going with <laughs> <laughs> this will be going with the DVDs, the uh, Pokemon collector set because you know I'm gonna be watching this probably tonight. I'll honestly I'll probably just go put it on the Xbox because it's pizza night. Pizza night. Pizza night. <laughs> so that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and if you guys want to take additional steps to support the show, you can also check out our Patreon where you can sign up for only two dollars a month and when you do you'll get an extended version of this video and every video that I upload along with seven months of videos I've already uploaded and they're 100% ad free. It's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons and if you guys want to see us live we can see us on whatnot live every single Friday. When you sign up for whatnot you'll get 15 bucks for free but not just that we do giveaways every single week on the show. We just did a show recently where every single item started at one dollar as well. So a lot of the items we get in here that with our doubles or just kind of stuff that we wanted to talk about but not necessarily get added to the collection you can actually pick those up over on whatnot and that works directly in supporting this show because every set we make over there comes right back over here in order for us to use it for this channel so if you guys want to support that thank you so much and for those of you guys that already are thank you thank you thank you again all those links are in the description i'll see you guys in this video right here i know you're gonna love it so check it out i'll see you guys in the next one adios and bloop